Hello and welcome to Endwalker. It's been it's been a while, you know, almost a full year of time dedicated to this game to get to this part. I hope you are as excited as I am. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out the Patreon down below. We'll have more information about that at the end of the video. Well, I think it's time. I think it's time to get into it. The next ship to sail. Tele, do you have some time to talk? I would have gathered everyone in Don's respite and together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. <laughs> Look at me go, explaining everything. Let us take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of the ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. We have since learned that the said structures were brought into being by an organization known as the Telephoroi. The Telephoroi's stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already these towers of theirs have caused untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith preserved for primal summoning. And unless we find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the sprites, we can't even get close enough to rescue everyone. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem to be able to resist the tempered, at least. But after what happened to Ardenvold and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. Yeah, while these threats stand close to home, are of paramount concern. We mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemalt. As you know, the Telephoroi are under the leadership of Fonda of, of Dan Daniel, of Fon Daniel, and other delightful fellow, Zeno C. Galvis, the crown prince and our dear friend. I mean, he, he does think I'm his friend. To date, he has reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varus, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in a war of succession. But that's since changed, and in troubling ways. Yo, Laugh, how you doing? And Walker, hype! Hype! Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons and the cries of discord. It was an e eerie fog of silence which did blanket the ruined city. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it's only a prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, for our allies are overwhelmed. Yeah, I mean, you can't just send me to kill everyone, there's too many of them. That's, that's usually our, our plan. We will find a way in Charlian, I'm sure of it. Master Fortuno's comments regarding the final days were curious, to say the least. The forum knows more than letting on. Sorry to interrupt. And yes, I'm gonna give her a southern voice forever. Forever and ever. We just received word from Mistress Cryle. She says the arrangement for your visit have been finalized. You're to head to Limsa Laments and board the ship bound for Charlian. On arrival, present yourself as associates of the students, students of Baldessian. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. I am looking pretty fine today. The arrangements that may be settled. What are your thoughts? It must raise as the prospect of returning home after so long. Southern Tartar is fitting somehow, right? She's the cutest little bean. She's the cutest little bean. I am eager to see it, of course. Of course. <laughs> We should set off at once. Alfie knows got daddy problems. Just like me. He's finally doing the thing. I am Rex. How goes your day? But I'll come eat to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Or just come. Or just come with us. Tataru gets the short end of the stick so much in this game. Why can't she just be included? You're so happy Graha's part of the team. And Astidian too. It's nice being back in the first. Or, not the first, the source. 
After spending so long in the first, it's nice being back in the source. First I'm messable, so you guess you're here? You're here you and late. How you doing, Falcon? Right on or so I'm told. Excellent. Tis nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. Oh, Louis Soir. And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Yeah, what a weird little uh, happenstance, huh? I've adopted this, this orphan on the streets. Now take care of my children. <laughs> the Q Savage, oh god. Be gay and do crime. I can do one of those. Aye, tis upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? I didn't even know that. Or, oh, Uriange dropping some tea here. Oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Same. Will this be your first visit to Charlian, Sir Estinian? I imagine so, right? Sir Estinian? <sighs> Are we strangers newly met? Why this stiff formality? Oh, this is so cute. He's like, Alvino, just talk to me like I'm your friend. <laughs> I uh, merely meant it as a professional courtesy, since we are now colleagues in an official sense. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alfino. Yo, little Lord Alfie. You've made your point, Estinian. That's not well. just one L, that's two L's. Alfino's taking two L's right here. <laughs> Better. <laughs> so cute. Are you alright, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Yeah, we're leaving her behind again. <laughs> Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their homeland. They better. They better let her come. It's just... We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. That's just normal everyday stuff, Taro. once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. No sense in worrying about things we're powerless to change. Just, just bring her. The, the, I fixed it for you. Bring her along. She went to Kugane. You can't act like she has to stay at the Rising Stones. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Those boots on that cat, though, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, if anyone's a himbo, it's 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 Talel Cat over here. And I don't I don't want to imagine Alfie no fix at all. Pick up Tataro, move her somewhere else. Exactly. Pick her up like a sack of potatoes. No sense in worrying about things we're powerless to change. Well, that's hardly comforting. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Hori <gasps> Motor! I miss you. Hori! Coltine! What brings you all this way? Man, I never pronounced his name right. <laughs> Ooh, I think I called him like Coltnet or something. I don't. <laughs> I, I'm not exactly the most cultured individual. 
We're to assist the Maelstrom and the Cobbles with a Lunar Primal operation. So we Bring thought we'd see one. you off before heading to the tower. That For voice I got pretty others, well. wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Aye. We, your fellow signs of the Seventh Dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. <laughs> the, gra <laughs> the graphics for Ed Walker's scenes are creamy. <laughs> Kitty, what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I, like, I'm imagining me like smooth like butter as like an expression, but <laughs> yo, damn. These graphics be looking creamy, though. Oh, God. Ooh. Must have put this in just because people need to know how the name is pronounced. Lef, I can't tell you how many times I've mispronounced something forever just to have either chat correct me or to hear it in-game for the first time and go, Oh. Oops. I, I think probably the... Most egregious example of that was I was just voicing lines in Baldessian. I I read it as Blade Scion forever. It was like the first few months I was streaming until someone corrected me. <laughs> Ooh. It's time. It's time. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn all to value. Wish us luck. Just bring her with you. It's not fair. It's not talking about my favorite character in the Have whole game. Journey. Is okay. always. Please be careful. She's just always put to the side, you know? I love to touch my absolute favorite character. Now the question is, does his armor have abs just made into it? Or does Hori have such amazing abs they popped the armor out slightly? That, that's my question. And so you venture forth unto the unknown. Is Xenos the narrator this time? A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Oh, it's Emmett! Oh god, it is Emmett! You shouldn't be allowed. I just heard, like, that slightly sultry evil voice. To die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. That ass shot, though. And there, in the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. I don't want to be underwater. I think you make me go underwater. <gasps> Map transitions! Oh god, they're so beautiful. And there's so much more of the world that we can explore in future expansions. Oh, have a good night, son. What is the top I character's wearing? Oh, I'm, I can I can check in a second. I'm not 100% certain. This is beautiful yet creepy. Here. Mom? Feel. Think. Yo, bro, you could be sitting in a chair. Why are you on the ground? 
day has barely dawned, my fellow early riser. Why are we all sleeping on the floor? What are no, we doing? hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. Tataru oh, won't pay for beds. Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. This, wait, you have, this is the Limsa opening? Interesting. I've never done the Limsa opening. I was, uh, was an old uh, man myself. This song is so creepy and beautiful. Okay. Hello, Crystal Mom. Why did you need Minfilia as your speaker again if you can just appear to me? My voice yet reaches you. I am glad. Here. Feel. Think. Yo! And until we meet face to face at last, my warrior of light guided by the crystal. Do you see her eyes, though? Why now, Heidelin? After your sojourn in the first... Wait, is Heidelin wearing one of the bird masks of the people? Oh gosh. That's that's the same mask that like Hithlodeus wears, like all the old ancients. Interesting. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been, a primal. Man, the little spokes coming out of her irises are gorgeous! The Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. They did proper animating for a lot of these cutscenes. They want the lines to be synced. Ooh. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, Nim. seven times now. Those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your wow, mind even her eyelashes are white. Twixt is no longer mine to wield. Yet though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid. Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. It's weird that she specifically mentions time. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. Whoa, I just had a realization. The voice actress for Heidelin reminds me a lot of the um, maiden from Demon Souls. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended.
When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Okay. So you promised something to Zenat. Ooh, they actually made the voice sound distant. That's some good audio mixing. I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. It does. I really want to see Charlian. We shall meet again. And soon. Soon, TM. Is Mary Elizabeth McGlynn? Oh, I love... Wow. I mean, I, I really know her mostly from the cameos in Critical Role, but yeah, wow, I can totally hear that. Mm. Oh, what a fine morning. Oh, still a bit stiff, though. And a good morning to you, too. Taken a look at the island already? Then let's go. Let's go. Oh. Might still be room in the prow. If They're so lucky. excited. I mean, it's been ages since they came home. She was. Okay, I didn't know that, Mike. Ah, the sleepers have arisen. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. The look oh, of joy. Oh, they're so cute. Home. Home at last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes. But we'll manage on our own. If we must. You do know you're not alone in this, don't you? Big brother Astinian! Astinian, oh my god! It is as Sir Astinian said. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I prithee. I love my two kids. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. And yes, it is great that my ass is at this whole time. I'll probably put my ass away, no to be honest. There is concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. You tell him, Stola. Okay. Okay. Oh, this music. Oh, this music. We get a title card! Yay! Oh, I got a big old grin. I've been waiting for so long for this. Hello, and thanks for watching. I am so happy that we're at Endwalker. I've been working towards this for a year and I'm so excited to share this journey with y'all. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the Patreon down below. We have weekly community nights and shout outs at the end of the video. Speaking of, I'd like to shout out my members John Best, Roro Lai, Svent, the best part of waking up is Folgers in Your Cup, and Rosalia Streaming Network. And as always, have a lovely day.